Let's just get right down to it. The Oxford limiter makes things louder, but it does so in a way a little different than others. It's very simple. You've got your input section with input gain up to 18 dBs, pre-process section with compression-like settings, here's your gain reduction meter, and an output section with this enhance feature right here. This is what separates the limiter from others. The slider will go up to 125% and it adds what I call a harmonic sparkle. There are other features such as dither and so on, but let's just put it on some tracks and see what it can do. It's on the master fader of a simple acoustic track. I have a preset for acoustic instruments here. You can see the enhance feature is at 81%. Go back to default. What would you expect me to do in this Bring it back. Mind. Steer down at my feet. Add a little more gain. Or up at the Here's the enhance change. Autumn sky. Use this compare Come button to undo the last Wilson function. Now. The voice and guitar have more air with the enhanced feature in. Twilight has come, my friend. Bypass the whole thing. Cry. Put it back in right here. I spend half my life playing in the Speaks for itself. I had Bypass so it. many reasons for and put it back so in here. Much precious time. Okay, let's do something a little different with some heavy bass and drums. I've got a preset that I always have for harder reg music. Let's go to that. You can hear the whole track lift up. You can hear it enhance the snare reverb, make it sound bigger. Okay, let's bypass it. Put it back in. And there's your comparison. One of the great things about the limiter is it works on a lot of different styles of music. Here's a simple TV cue. Just standard light drum bass guitar kind of thing. I'll usually start with a little input gain, then I'll go right to the enhanced feature. Here's the soft knee which goes up to 10 dBs of soft limiting. You can see it gain reducing. I usually set the output level just below zero. Let's do our bypass and back in. Again, it lifts the track up, adds some harmonic air. If I wanted to set a TV output level, I could go right to minus 10. Experiment with pushing the input gain up even higher. With the safe mode button in, the limiter will not clip the output no matter what you do to it. That doesn't sound so good, so I'll just go back to one of my basic settings and start again. Add a little extra gain back in. I'll select this peak hold button here so I can watch what my peak is. You can see it's holding the peak right up around zero. Bypass. Put it back in. Pull the output down just a touch. And there you have it. You can see how easy it is to get great sounded tracks with the Oxford limiter.